At the latest plenary, demands for the European Parliament to play a key role in creating the EU's Corona Crisis Recovery Fund. There's no budget without democratic legitimacy. Saving the travel and tourism sectors hit hard by COVID-19. We need to make sure that our family businesses are saved. Pushing for contact tracing apps and a vaccine to put the pandemic behind us. There is a huge risk of a second wave and that's why this tracing app is so important. The European Parliament this week debated and staked out its position on funding to help the EU rebuild its economy devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. The EPP group says it will veto a long-term budget plan if Parliament is not part of the discussions on the coronavirus recovery plan. For us as EPP, the key element is, for, is to fight for a democratic budget. A budget decided by the people represented here in this chamber. A budget based on solidarity among people and nations in the European Union. A budget that is honest with the people and a budget that cares for the people. The EPP group also wants a separate fund to jumpstart Europe's economy. We demand an ambitious recovery fund which is composed of loans and grants, which help on the ground, which make a real difference on the ground. And we want this not to increase the burden on member states, on countries. Travel and tourism in Europe are reeling from the coronavirus pandemic, with 23 million jobs and 10% of the gross domestic product at stake. While the European Commission this week presented its proposals to help the sectors, the EPP group called for unified European health checks and sanitary protocols to ensure cross-border travel and tourism. The first condition to open the borders and to open for everybody. We have to open the borders together with uh, uh, health conditions, uh, uh, that's, that's uh, preventive conditions, uh, requirements, that's uh, very clear also. Along with EU-wide travel rules, the EPP group is urgently calling for financial support for the sectors. The travel and tourism industry in Europe has been and will be hit the hardest um, throughout this crisis and we need to do everything in our power to save it. Parliament debated common EU standards for contact tracing apps with privacy protection. The EPP group's spokesman on public health, himself a doctor, says it's vital to control the spread of the virus. The coronavirus is still among us, so there is a huge risk of a second wave, but at the same time I understand for social reasons, for personal reasons, for economic reasons, we cannot stay in lockdown for, for more months. And that's why this tracing app is so important. Scientists, experts tell me that it is possible to do it in line with the European data protection. Parliament also debated how to cooperate globally on developing a vaccine against COVID-19. The EPP group says there must be a plan B if the EU has trouble getting access to one. There may be governments that are not so keen on helping us, like uh, the US government under Donald Trump. We need also to be ready to speak the language of power. And I think forced licensing and trade policy are two elements to use the strength of this alliance to make clear that we are all together in this. We are all united. And those who want to play their own game, they, they will have difficulties.